get the coronavirus. No, it wouldn't have been. We were gonna have Yo, a what up, guys? Anyway. These, these All right, so, you know, I'm just chilling here, time. listening to some Peter Schiff, too. figure out, hop in. Uh, too many stores and, uh, because the consumers <laughs> broke. Get some axes in. The consumers getting the money to go to these restaurants to, to take vacations. You know how we do. Hotels, this is how we do. What up, Pete? It. What up, Peter? Well, now the whole uh, thing has collapsed, and now we've had this wake-up call where, where people realize, wait a minute, I lose my paycheck. I'm broke. I can't pay my rent. Hello, I gotta stop living beyond my means. I gotta start saving. So this whole thing is changing. The bubble is uh, deflating. And the other thing that people don't even get, right, is normally, and I, I talked about this. Nice, two energy here. here. I wish Gota, man. Damn, if I want Gota to steal. A real economic recovery, right? We would be in much better shape to handle this recession. Hmm. See, in a normal recovery, right, what would happen is consumers would be paying back wonder if we can kill that beast that they incurred during the preceding recession right because during the recession you lose your job oh wow you he's not gonna do nothing oh is he doing one fund, right? cocktail you raid your savings you don't have a job spicy hot butt my savings maybe i pull some money out of my retirement account maybe i Ooh. run out of some credit card bill right because i gotta get through the tough times so i i use my rainy day fund because now it's raining well when you get a real recovery where people get real jobs again, productive, good paying jobs, I'm just gonna what do hold. they do? Well, now I can pay back the money I borrowed when times were bad. I can replenish my savings. I can put the money back into my 401k that I borrowed, right? I can, I can build myself up again. So I have a cushion to withstand the next downturn. The same thing with corporations. Corporations should uh -oh. be paying down debt. Maybe Boom. times were bad. Right, there was a recession, so their customers. All right, well, spending, I don't want him to do so, the. Uh, they had a dip into their savings, or maybe borrow some money to get through a lean snail time. shell. Well, now all of a sudden, the economy is booming. People are working, they're productive, and they're spending their earnings. Right, not what they borrowed, but what they earned. Right. Well, now all of a sudden, the companies can pay back. All right. Well, he's going to hit borrowed. us with the snail right? shell. They could, they could not going to kill us though. Sheets. Use the recovery, right, to get in good shape. Same oh man, I wanted my other my front tank to be stunned. Oh, the deficits really shoot up because now people aren't paying as much in taxes because they've lost their jobs. Uh, so the government tax revenues go down, but now more people are on welfare, unemployment, food stamps, and things like that. And I think I'm just gonna pass the turn plans. here. And so the government runs right. these bigger deficits. Gonna kill us when times are bad, supposedly. Do you have any water, aqua cards? Again, or maybe they think it helps nope. the times uh, get good. But now all of a sudden you have a real recovery, right? What is the government supposed to do? Well, now it's got more tax revenue coming in and it's not spending as much on safety. It's still like a carrot though, so just one carrot. It's supposed to come down when times are good. So you have that room. And what does the Fed normally do? Well, when times were bad, the Fed cuts rates. But then when the recovery starts, the Fed really starts raising rates up again. So then by the time we have another recession, the Fed has a long way to go to cut rates to try to supposedly ease the pain or stimulate the economy. But this is a completely different situation than we've ever faced in the past because, A, the Fed never right, normalized. Let's see interest here. Rates. So interest rates were barely above zero when the recession began, right? I mean, the, the Fed just went to zero in one swoop, right? Because they had cut them three times to one and a half, right, before the recession started. Then as soon as the recession started, they went from one and a half to zero. That was it. One rate cut. That's all they had. One and done. And they were back at zero. And what about the debt? I mean, we had massive deficits. We had a trillion dollar deficit in the fiscal year before the recession began. So we're starting with massive debt. What about corporations? They're levered to the max. They didn't pay down any debt during this phony expansion. They incurred more debt. What about the consumer? The consumer's never been in such bad shape. During this whole phony recovery, nobody recovered. The consumers, the American households, are in more debt now than they were 10 years ago before the I wonder if I should go for it here. Started. So how is there a recovery if we haven't recovered from anything? We had a debt crisis. We had too much debt in 2008. Did we recover from that? No, we have more debt than ever before. If we had a real recovery, we would have paid that debt down. Right? We would have rebuilt our savings. That's what I wanted from the beginning. 
but the Fed prevented that from happening. Oh, come on with these QE, exactly what it's doing again. So people just don't get. All right, we should just we should be able to knock him out. I think was to the next recession, regardless of what caused it. See, it doesn't matter. You know what? Well, caused he's got the, the cleanse set. It's going to be a hundred armor happened. on him. One thirty-seven. We can still beat happens, him though. Then it takes on a life of its own. Then you, all these problems are exposed. Now the fact that this recession is being kicked off by this coronavirus and all of this, you know, quarantining and social distancing. Not going to be up to kill him, but we will leave him with a stun, even though he has a good comeback or a good answer to that stun, anyway, which is the climate set. Yes, this makes it worse than it otherwise would have been. It was going to be really bad anyway. And so now something that would have been really bad anyway is just a whole lot worse. But because you have so many people that were still fooled, that still thinks thought yep. that the economy was real. So that'll take care of his stun. Well, that's a that's a good answer to a stun. It was on Fox News, and it, it gives him a lot of armor. Sunday or whatever. I think it was Sunday night. And he crits but again. And he spoke in front of the Lincoln Memorial. Well, we should uh, have him. Ooh, and we crit. News reporters, Brett Bear, I think. Nine morale, baby. That's how we do. Um, but one of the things he said, he said, you know, before this happened, we had in America the greatest <clears> economy. In the history of the world. Right? Oh shit, my dude! Economy, the greatest economy ever. And then he said, and it's a fact. Post Bunny, this is my guy, that. dude. So I used to have this guy. That we had the greatest. This guy economy bought them all for me. The guys from Fox News. Oh They're yeah. Not dispute the president. Nice. What's right? up, bro? Get away with this what ridiculous up? claim that we had the greatest Liana. economy in the history of the world. Right before the coronavirus. All right, and so they're just gonna fear the shit out of me. They got the cute bunny squad. Turn it off. Ooh, like, nothing. What? I got to turn this great economy off like it's some kind of faucet. Right? We have this booming economy. All right, am I going to kill this ever, guy? And now I got to turn it off. And I didn't want to do it because it was so great. And I did it. But then he's acting as if he could turn it right back on. He could just flip the switch. 300. And we boom again. We can but leave we him with a stun. Before. It was a gigantic debt bubble. I don't know if we can and beat now, him. now all we're doing is just taking debt off the charts. But I want to try. In fact, I want to check the. Uh, All right, we're we're leaving our tank to die here. Uh, Twenty-five trillion. Hopefully, we can trade. National debt. You know, I go. You go. You could go look. I at wish it. I had a I carrot or something to give my main tank. All right, here we go. But last I checked. Can we do it? Right there. Up, oh, we're there. Boom. Twenty. We went. We went through it today. Boom. Twenty-five. Sixty. I need a little stronger there. Billion. I think. Twenty-five yeah. trillion national debt. Oh, well, we couldn't do it. We were just yesterday. I looked at it. It was it was just under twenty-four and a half trillion. So we've added, based on this, we've added about another hundred billion to the national debt since the last time I looked at this clock. Well, at least yesterday. he won't be able to heal. Yesterday. All right. Well, he's like he's, he's stacking it up in debt. The crazy thing is, stacking it up. We're just going to do the same thing. We're going to double this debt. How many more years? Five, six, seven. Oh, but is he going to fear us? Like you that. know what? The fear won't but matter though. If he hits us with an aqua card, trillion, which he doesn't even have. Damn, dollars. that was his only aqua dude. You know, the debt right now well, at least get one mana or one energy here. But that's just the federal debt. If you add the state and municipal debt, because they're all taxes. Hey, look at Peter. You got a nice new shirt. Right? Because a lot of countries don't have these local debts. You got to count the all the government debt, not just the federal oh, shit. debt. So oh, shit. Here he comes. Local debt. Total government it's coming debt hard. is 132 <sighs> percent of GDP, and what's about to happen to GDP? It's about to implode. GDP is going to collapse just as the Damn, debt is exploding. Damn, dude, he's putting me down. So we're going to be, you know, surging. We're going to get close to 200 percent. Well, you didn't fear me. A debt to GDP when you take all levels of government. I mean, there's no way to sustain that. And again, that's just the funded debt. That's the money the government has actually borrowed. That's not all the One. debt that the U.S. government has committed to pay, right? Social Security, Medicare, Obamacare, guaranteed loans, uh, pensions, bank accounts. He's got four energy here. I got to play this right. There's all sorts of Because, look, he's got a beast move. That are 100 trillion or 200 trillion. Can I kill him with this? Probably not, right? I got to do this. So the, the reality of this situation. Oh, no. Yeah, he's going to hit me. Oh, no. Is, is he going to fear me? Oh, no. He's going to fear me, and dude. It's it's not looking good for us. The, the virus, right, it is creating this false Damn. Sh Even bad order here by me. Itself, we still oh, no two turns. How long this thing is going to be here. Oh, we stunned him, though. And, you know, we don't even know. Are we going to be able to get the all clear 
uh, this month, next month. Yeah, I think he pretty that, much crushed me here. Wave? Nobody knows. Right? Who knows? Once they've Damn, post bunny, dude. Precedent. Post bunny. Shutting everything down. This is now a huge risk. I had this dude. Sold it to him. I think he bought him for point oh that didn't even five, maybe point oh nine. It wasn't hard enough to be an entrepreneur. Goodbye. And deal with all the regulations and deal with all the right, taxes. I don't think there's any way I win wage. this. Now you got to deal with this. You got to worry about you know the shutdowns. Or people just not wanting to go to your restaurant or your business, and you got to worry about your employees suing you or your customers suing you for more reasons than they could have sued you before, as if we weren't, you know, a too litigious before a COVID-19. I mean, now we're going to be <clears throat> more litigious. And we had this economy like no other economy in the world. I think I might need a heal. That was all a I'm running the plants team here. I think I might need to put a heal on these economy. guys. But again, it's not the consumers that are in the driver's seat. It's the producers, the producers in China. I like the squad, and hopefully Japan, I'm forcing for more people to run beasts. The world that are making the stuff that Because right buying, now it's heavy, heavy aquatics to buy it. and bird All meta and plants. What we are borrowing, right? It takes two to tango. So it's pushing somebody the beast out. Hopefully more people will just start doing lend, this. And you can't lend. And uh, save. it'll pull so some more beast teams in. Beast and bugs. Because the world is full of savers. If we are driven by consumers, it's just because the rest of the world is enabling it by doing the production that we're not doing. And this whole house of cards is falling apart. And as I've been saying, people are not focusing on the bubble. They are distracted by this big, gigantic pin that pricked it. And they don't realize that it's a pin and that it pricked the bubble. They think we had a viable economy, and this is just a problem that we have to deal with. Yes, it's a problem, but it's not a problem in a healthy economy. It's a problem in a very sick economy. And the economy is a lot sicker than the virus. And that's what we have to be concerned about. Far more uh, than COVID-19 is the underlying illness that Fed policy is only exacerbating and that government fiscal policy is only exacerbating. And just, you know, what Clarita said, you know, we're going to we're going to stop doing this when the economy no longer needs it. Well, because they're doing it, the more the Fed, the more the government intervenes and you have this Federal Reserve is actually egging on Congress. They're begging the government to spend more money, to use their <laughs> fiscal tools. Hey, borrow and spend whatever of course. you want. We got your back. We're going to print an unlimited amount of money. So go to town. Don't worry about the deficits. We got you. We're going to print all the money. So, I mean, it's like waving a, a red flag at a bull. I mean, they've got carte blanche now. Why, why would they not spend, right? It could, nobody's paying Passing the turn. We ain't no doing nothing. He ain't right. doing shit nobody either. realize that the inflation tax is going to hit everybody much harder uh, than would a legitimate tax. But when you have all these policies, these policies are undermining the economy. They're not supporting the economy. They're preventing the economy. Damn, from aqua stock right and here, so the dude. More we have this fiscal monetary policy. The weaker the economy actually get, the got more anything left over for me? Let's see. It becomes to survive, nope. right? It becomes a zombie economy that needs this government support. All right, but so it's he not only real. has two and energy. It's happening at a time that is very, very dangerous. We're six he can months gain now an energy here. away from the election. And people haven't even started to factor in what happens when Trump loses. What happens when he hands the baton? To Joe Biden, or I think we're okay. The Democrats are smart. I don't know if I'm playing as a little too else, passive. Other than Biden, they kick him out for uh, the sexual <clears throat> harassment or use that as an excuse. But whatever, you know, Hillary Clinton now uh, is uh, the, is rising in, uh, in in the in the betting polls as far as I think she's maybe 10, 11 percent. Right, so now he has three now, energy, he and he eat. can. Uh, so it's not Biden doesn't have a lock on it. Prioritize. Um, so we'll do one aqua stock here. I, I, I think oh, we don't have nothing for our Biden tank. That sucks. Uh, but All right, let's try to kill his tank. What that means when you pass the baton from a socialist Republican to a socialist Democrat, when you already got all the Republicans. Let's in try Congress, to kill his tank. Oh, right? but it's oh, it won't work. It's going to prioritize idle targets. We need all this government. We need all these bailouts. You know, they're fastest. The one thing they're not signing on to yet is, you know, bailing out the individual. Thirty five. Right? Uh, the House of Republicans that are trying to draw a line in the sand. You know, when it comes to bailing out particular state governments, because a lot of these state governments that are in the most trouble, of course, are um, blue states. They're, they're, oh, they're, they're I ran out of time. Democrats. Okay. So you had Mayor de Blasio. Oh, in, shit. Uh, 150. Manhattan, I'm uh, dead. New York. 
he was basically saying, you know, Trump is a mean guy. You know, how could he turn his back on, on New York City? You know, we need help. And hey! like, 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 this is Trump's money, right? It's not Trump 45. It's not his money. Anybody can spend somebody else's money. It's not about like Trump has got this pile of money. The federal government just has this pile of money and they're just being stingy and they don't want to share it with New York. Right? I think I'm going to go to, I think I'm just going to max out. The idea is the government has to tax the people. Yes. The hell yeah, baby. Oh it's my goodness. Watering can. Right? So if plus a go to, to take care of his money, energy that he just people. gained. Even if the fed prints it, it still takes it from the people because it's taking Boom. purchasing power. From Boom, the people. Son. We don't get government for free if we pay for it by the fed. So the people of the United States, have to pay for all government spending one way or another. And so if the people in Manhattan, in New York City, if New York City is in trouble, then why doesn't the mayor raise taxes? Okay, that's pretty good. He gets to heal like that. Why doesn't the governor, why doesn't Andrew Cuomo raise taxes in New York State to help New York City? Right, because it's the same taxpayers. If a city is in trouble, the people in that city should be taxed uh, to deal with it or the people in that state. Why should people in Arizona have to be taxed? I think I'm just going to do another aqua stock. New York, let the people in yes. Arizona be taxed. To pay yes, the people baby, in yes. That's why we have separate states. Fill me up. That's why we don't just have one gigantic government. Fill the tank up, baby. For a reason. I They're see we can kill them here. 120. It's going to be close. They're supposed to take care of their own. The Ooh, federal wee. government is supposed to protect us all from invasion. The federal government is supposed to be involved with external affairs. The states are supposed to handle their own. I got so affairs. many cars here, so but New York nothing to do with problem, them, really. The New Yorkers can deal with it. You know, there's a lot of very I'm rich hoarding. people that live in New York, right? The per capita income of New York State is one of the highest in the country. You got plenty of billionaires and millionaires in New York. All right, we're going all out. New York City and New York State tax those billionaires themselves. Why do they have to beg uh, Donald Trump to do it for them? And going all out Donald Trump does it, <laughs> eight does energy you oh my god we got watering everybody. can we can't tax our own oh citizens. my goodness no. but of course they don't want Holy to do crits. That. they don't want to vote to raise taxes on New Yorkers so they want the government to spend money oh. you know, and it doesn't hurt them politically look if the money is necessary then you raise it right if and we leave them stunned because they don't have enough revenue then you raise taxes and if you can't do that politically then cut spending but what these Democratic governors want and these mayors is they want the Ooh, government he gets the heel to give them a done. so that they Low don't heel. have to cut any spending. And 63 they don't have to heel. Raise any taxes. Let the federal government raise the taxes, except they're not going to raise taxes legitimately. They're going to have the Federal Reserve just print money, and they're going to create massive inflation. But that's what's happening. But whatever resistance the Republicans are putting up to this plan is going to go away once the Republicans no longer have the Senate which is probably going to happen. So the markets haven't even digested this massive shift to the left uh, that we are experiencing. And, you know, the COVID-19 is... Yeah, Peter's calling for Democrat uh, to, to win. ...enable the government to do things, usurp power uh, that it probably never could have done. And it also is creating a scapegoat so that the government will be better able to blame the problems on external factors that we need government to Oh, we're getting UBI, I mean, baby. Oh, virus. UBI. Maybe here we come. So Ooh, any crits. It was bad monetary and fiscal policy. But now everybody is going to blame it on the boogeyman of uh, COVID-19. And then the government is going to be what we need to keep us safe. The boogeyman. And in order to do that, we're going to surrender all sorts of liberties. Uh, and our economic freedoms are going to collapse along with it. Where's that so boogeyman at? put this together yet. Right now, it's kind of like the low you know, uh, before the storm. Maybe we're in the eye of a hurricane or whatever it is. But people still have a window of opportunity. Sell U.S. stocks into this rally. You know, they're still, they're, we're still well off the Hell world. yeah, I'm in the money market, stocks. baby. Get Fuck rid of US stocks. stocks. Get rid of U.S. bonds. Get rid of U.S. dollars. And get into these overseas assets before the bottom drops out of the dollar. Buy your gold. Buy your silver. All right, so he doesn't have any energy to destroy here. Ooh, healing though. You know, a lot of people healing that tank. A lot of <clears throat> All now. right. A lot of people opening up accounts, adding to their accounts. So this is great. I'm glad people are are taking my advice and moving while they can. I don't know how long this escape window is going to be open. Uh, I wish you know, these guys were. The price of gold I wish he was my off. slowest. Hey, one day it's All right, let's see if we can kill this tank. It happens, get your gold and silver, I don't think so. He's got a huge shield. Oh, crit, though. You know, some smart people, some very, crit. very smart, wealthy people have begun to figure it out. I mean, they don't know it all yet. I mean, they still don't realize 
how bad it's going to be, but they know the price of gold is going up. They know gold stocks are going up. They, they Wish I had a serious right here. They just don't know exactly how bad it's going to be. Because I remember, you know, when we were doing the subprime short, I remember when I first uh, heard about these, the, the, the mortgages, the guy that told me about it didn't even realize how bad it was going to be once the housing bubble popped and these mortgages Damn. became worse. Damn. Damn. Pliers? Who understood Don't the grip. dynamics of the trade, right? Didn't really even appreciate how the, the impact it was going to have on the economy and how bad the crisis was going to be once the bubble popped because they, they didn't get the whole picture. They got enough of it uh, to understand that trade, but they didn't have understanding of the broader ramifications. Now, maybe some did, but I know a lot of them didn't. And so I think a lot of the people now that are. All right, well, we're about to lose it. Yes, are we 20? Tw no, 20? Just how bad. Oh, any crits, but we're not losing it. Eventually, more and more. And he still had an energy left over. Wow. Have already figured out, right? So it's not just me now. I'm not the only one in these gold stocks. I'm not the only one uh, positioning for stagflation, inflation. More people are seeing it, but our numbers are still in the minority. But once this decides. Man, this is kind of risky doing growth, this. I, I'm willing majority, to put one on it. It's much too late. For you to reposition your portfolio anyway that's it for today i'm going to do the next podcast on friday uh in the afternoon after we get the non-farm payroll number and we'll see if the market reacts Ooh, did he just play one? Oh no here he goes just how much worse an expectation putting poison on us uh, that number is i think they're looking for 21 million uh jobs to be lost for the month anyway bye for now all right later peter be good bro Be good, homie. All right, so. Can move this back over. All right, let's see what we got here. Put the tunes out. All right, so is he going to do anything? He might not even do anything. Okay, did I just run out of time or something? And he didn't do anything? Neither one of us did anything? I think I could, I could afford to hit him with two here. I was thinking maybe one Aqua Stock. Because, damn! There he goes. Okay, he might kill us here. 300. Oh, so close. And he's going to put poison on us. And give us a little tick. Tick, tick. And we're not going to kill. Are we going to kill? Oh, let's stand. But you know what? We have it. So we're going to do a Gota and a watering can. Because he just might choose not to do anything. So we'll go to. Already does one, but is it enough? No! And we get to go to and destroy his energy that he was oh so trying to steal. Trying to save it, but you won't. Alright, trap trap. Or chomp trap trap chomp. So he has four energy here. Oh, Aqua Stock though. So he saved one energy, so he has three. Still has three energy, but we're probably going to kill him right here, boy. Those birds go down. And my dude crits, man. He don't play around, dude. He don't play. He does not play. He does not play around. All right, penguin. The penguin. All right, I like him. He's got double Ronin. One bunny. Do you have anything to match the bunny? It's pretty much all speed. I like this guy. 52 speed Ronin. Oh, damn, son. Oh, damn, son. All right, I don't think he's doing anything turn one. He's probably just going to hold. Hold. He gets to draw. But we get to destroy an energy, so have fun with that extra card with no energies. All right, we're going to steal... He could try to come after my backline guy. 
And just in case he does, we'll throw up something. A little something. Just a little something. Okay, he's critting. I'm gonna reduce our attack. Ooh, don't kill me though. Ooh, no. Is he playing anything else? Oh, all out. The shot. Damn. Heard round the world. Round the world. All right, so I think he used all his energy here. Not sure. Aquotos. Aquas. We should be able to beat these Aquas asses, though. Beat their ass. Let's go, baby. He's got high power, though. Okay, well, he's doing it. Ugh. He's saving his energy. Well, we'll destroy one. Because we don't want to allow it. Watering can. Just in case. And... The leak. See, this is why this, this bulwark, I want it to be snail shell. To really stun. Just say, yo, bro. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Alright, that's one energy for us. One energy for him. Ooh, double egg, huh? Double egg, huh? Splatty mixed splatters. Well, we'll do it. We're not going to kill him now, are we? Oh, maybe we will, though. Oh, so sick! So close. So close. All right, we want to kill his guy here. Prickly Trap is probably enough to do it. 200. And then what do we do? Watering can on the bottom guy. He's probably not going to do anything here, if I had to guess. Oh, no, he's going for Ronin. He's going for a double crit. No! It will be enough. Damn. All right, we'll, we'll wind up killing his guy, but we lost our watering can. All right, I think we're just going to leak here. Sucks. Damn, he's still got enough? And he's gaining his energy, but we have disabled... His ranged abilities. He has none. He has no ranged abilities. So that was a waste. Okay. We got to put up the shields, I think. And hope to kill him with two prickly traps. I don't know if it's going to be enough. He's got mega damage. And he's going to debuff our damage. And he crits. Oh, he crits off of that. Damn, he's got high ass Murado. 48. Damn, that was a close match. Damn, if he didn't crit there, there was a chance that we would have turned that around with two prickly traps. We were setting a trap. We were trying to set the trap with the red rocket. But we never got to explode. Damn. We never got a chance to explode. All right, turn one, nothing. He does the same. Turn two, just throw a carrot out there. What's that? 160, two, three. Maybe we kill here? Eh, let's throw a bamboo shoot. Let's throw a bamboo shoot on him. Here he comes with the mega attacks. One, two, three, 400 damage plus. Oh no, he's killing us. Ooh! Shit, bro. Six damage. Good thing I played the bamboo shoot. Now we're going to tell you. Uh, we're going to show you, bro. Can you survive with six damage? Six health? No. We will not allow that. Yeah, I kind of like this guy too. Look at this dude. Damn, he's a beast. Ronin beastly Ronin. All right, what do we do? Just one here. 
try to carry it on my main front guy. I'm thinking about separate, splitting these guys up. Put one up top, one down low. And kind of split them up. Alright, he does grub. That's zero. So we'll gain one here. Alright, so we're attacking a beast. I don't really like attacking a beast. Alright, watering can it is. And damn leak. And even if I stun, it won't be good. So I think we'll just stab. Go a little stronger here. Take a stab at it. Oh, we're gonna gain off of that. Oh, we're gonna gain off of that. Yo! That's why I'm thinking of splitting them up, but I don't know if I should. All right, so here we go. Let's try to kill this guy, shall we? Still can't really in the back here. One, two, three. I like this. Oh, he's not doing anything. Goda! Goda! You try to save. That's what we destroy. All right, don't hit me with none of your stuff. So he has three energy here. So he's going to be able to hit me for one, two, three, about 400. I'm probably not going to be able to survive it. So let's just try to end him on the back end with Trunk. Trunk's back there. So here we go. He's he's still hitting us with a water card, though. Aquatic! Giving me that extra energy. So we're going to be able to crush this guy now. We crush. And we're going to leave him stunned. But he does have the zero Mystic Rush here to get rid of the stun. All right. So this is probably... The end. It marks the end. I want that last game back. The plants are pissed. I think I misplayed with the, the cactus. I was playing way too passive. Setting it up. Trying to wait. It's the thing with this leaky leak. I don't know if it's enough. Maybe I want more damage on my plant guys. Not sure. Alright. Well that's going to be it for this one. Thank you all for watching. Catch y'all on the next one. Later!